so hello guys um welcome back to my um channel or oh, my page so if you're watching on facebook if you're watching this video on facebook welcome to genuine just center and if you're watching on youtube thanks and welcome to um genuine tv so please if you're here to subscribe or follow do well to do so. Thank you, darlings. So today we have two news, bad and good. So the first one, that's the bad one, has to do with kind of seeking your opinion on this matter because I am kind of confused. I'm very confused. But anyway, I'll still state my opinion and I would let you guys correct me if, if you think my opinion is not right, you know. So guys... For our first, our first bad news, that is for the first topic of the day, we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be talking about Muslim girl turned to Christian gospel artist, to a nurse, to a bad bee, and to a popular Facebook influencer, Oviosa, before she got arrested, yeah, she's arrested, she has been arrested on her way to flee, like she wanted to leave this country, and she got arrested, so currently now mm -hmm. she's behind bars you know she's just at one corner of the jail you know waiting for a trial or something like that so the news of the popular nigeria facebook influencer Ovoza. i don't know if i'm pronouncing this well but i think this is what her name is ovia Osa. is currently trending on social media platforms and tells about her you know having left on social media you know Oh, Oviosa got arrested in Lube area of Abuja, you know. I mean, plan to flee from the country. My baby girl wanted to leave. So, I, 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 I learned she duped people. Of, she duped a lot of people. And the amount they're calling is like, oh my God, this girl is bad. So, she duped people of 3 billion, 3 point something billion. That's our own estimate, you know, their estimate. The estimate they gave to us, it was 3 point something billion. So now, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, oh my God, when I saw this girl's picture, I'm like, oh my God, this girl doesn't even look like somebody who could actually do people. And then a lot of people were like, are you trying to say she looks dumb? It's not like she looks dumb, but she does, you know, that kind of flashy, classy woman that when you see, okay, you're going to trust her with your business. Or she doesn't look like it, but that's still my opinion though. So... Um, she apparently decided to leave Nigeria and missed all this, uh, duping, all this scam, where she don't scam people. She decided to leave because she bought a house. She recently bought a house in outside country, you know, US, I don't know. And they said the house was $4,000, you know, just transfer, like, Change it in Nigeria rate. This one with dollar on the high. You know how much it is. This is what this lady bought. Four thousand. Is it four hundred thousand? Yeah, four hundred thousand dollars. And she's currently pregnant with her husband. Husband. So now I wanted to ask a question. All these people they have been arresting. All these um, scammers that have been they have been arresting. I don't understand. Do you? Like, I wanted to ask a question. I was like, okay, if you arrest this person, you have to um, confiscate whatever property. If she doesn't have the money, if she does have the money in the bank, how about you share the money to people she collected the money from or people she duped the money from? Oh, what do we actually do with the money? Because I've, I've been hearing, like, Chima's case, Chima's was arrested, and I'm going to hear that some people have been refunded because of true, he will not have the exact amount, you know. You will not have the exact amount because... You know, money that you got through, um, all this first kind of something, you're going to be spending it like, who cares, you know? You didn't work for the money, so excuse you, you're just going to be spending it. So my question is, when these people are being arrested, when you arrest this people, when, the, when we, we, we hear that they have been arrested, what did they actually do with the money? What did they actually do with the money? If... Like, if, if the money is not in their bank, I'm sure they bought some landed like properties, they bought some assets, even shares in some companies, you know. I think the best thing to do is, to, like, sh like, try to change the whole thing into money and get to pay some people, some people, you know. Do you know, like, 
We're not talking about the, uh, the, the, the trauma that people pass through, the problem they pass through when this whole scam of a thing was happening. Like when you hear that, oh, the money you put in somewhere has been taken. Like you cannot even get to hold the money, you know? So I was asking myself this question. I was like, okay, I'm going to do a video. I just want to know what actually happened when you, after you um, arresting this person, what happened? How do you guys treat the matter, you know? So I bumped into um, a post where they said the girl actually chose to go to jail. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm... So yeah, that she decided to go to jail instead of paying people the money. So I'm like, is this an option? Are they supposed to give her an option to, like, choose between oh jail and paying back? So in this case, I'm that's my opinion. That. That's why I said I'm bringing it to the public. So you guys will go to the comment section and tell me what you guys think. Because to me, I think mm -mm, she doesn't even have any right to decide anything. If it's landed property, change it back to cash and give people their money. Give. I know it's, gonna, it's not going to reach all, but try to give people their money. Change everything. And they still send us to jail because I'm sure a lot of people died because of heartbreak, you know. That's my own opinion. That's my own opinion and my own suggestion. So just like I said, if you think you don't vibe with my own opinion, you don't um, agree with my own suggestion, go to the comment section, darlings, and tell me what you think. So for the juicy, juicy part of it, so we're going to be talking about the you know the tradition of the wedding oh my god the love and the air the, the, the recent sweet trending of our um nollywood actress rita uh, uchenna became dominic Watcher. so let me just call it short the name we know her as rita dominic yeah so you won't be talking about nollywood if this lady is not being mentioned you know the story of nollywood won't be because they are one she's one enough the toughest hot tech chicks like people who really work hard in that nonny world. So she was she 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 actually tied the knot with the love of her life, you know, she, and she's forty six years old. And from him they say, you know, that is Emma State, I think so. Yeah, from Emma State. Mm hmm So baby girls, she tied the knot with the love of her life, the love of her life. Sorry, I'm trying to get the name of the man. I'm trying to go into my on um, this thing. So, mm -hmm. the love of her life. I'm assuming you. Uh, Fidelis, you know, Fidelis, that is his name. Anosike. Fidelis, who is uh, 56 years old, who is heard from uh, Ume Rina Nambara. So you uh, see, so in Nigeria, so that's yeah. where Nigeria. Yeah. So they're tied, you know. So we're going to be talking about the national. He graduated from the University of Bini with a Bachelor of Art degree in Creative and Applied Art.